I'm Dean. Hi, I'm John. And this, this is Fuji City! Fuji City is the third largest in Shizuoka Prefecture and is located on the south side of Mount Fuji, the tallest mountain in Japan and the icon of this city. More than 240,000 people call Fuji City home. The south of the city borders the Pacific Ocean and has a rich fishing industry. Inland, however, the city is better known for producing green tea. Riders of the Shinkansen bullet train will pass through here. They can get off at Shin Fuji Station. On this trip, I was joined by friend and YouTuber John Daub, who was invited by the city to make a video about its many attractions. John is one of Japan's top foreign YouTubers, creating content all over the country. We have collaborated a few times on his videos, but this time I asked if I could make a short video behind the scenes. John's video theme was green tea. So we're in uh, one of the tea fields here at Fuji. Uh, there he is, or she is, there's Mount Fuji. Fuji San in the background. And there's John over there, he's with the tea master. We've just had a sit down and I've been able to try um, probably about four or five different teas. Wow. And uh, I've learned a lot. It's just the best setting as well, like where they grow the tea. With the water of Mount Fuji. The most beautiful drink of tea ever. Maybe. After some tea sampling, we followed a cycle route up to a beautiful tea field terrace known as Obuchi Sasaba. I'll let John introduce it. Welcome to one of the most beautiful spots maybe in all of Japan, especially for those that love green tea. This is, I guess, a pilgrimage that you have to make up here to Obuchi Sasaba in Chizoka Prefecture, Fuji City. This is the view that I'm about to show you in about 45 seconds as soon as we start walking. And this is Dean right here. We're gonna maybe get a chance to see this spot. This is, um, these are the tea fields of Obuchi Sasaba. It is, I guess, an iconic image of Mount Fuji, but this is the viewpoint from where we are right now. The Obuchi Sasaba Fields, Mount Fuji in the backdrop of tea fields, is an impressive sight. This is one of the few spots in Shizuoka Prefecture uh, where you can take photos of Mount Fuji and the tea fields together with no obstructions. And as a result, it's often covered by the media and attracts both professional and amateur photographers alike. It's also a very popular spot for overseas visitors. In order to pass on its beautiful scenery in the future, landowners and local residents actively engage in conservative activities. They want you to come here and learn about Mount Fuji and, and uh, tea. So we've done that, right? Um, so look. Let's just let's just walk this. We're already right 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 from the parking lot, and this is the parking lot right here. We're already seeing um, green tea behind us. There it is, right there. Um, they pretty much just look like shrubbery. Oh, look at the view! Oh man! Now Mount Fuji is obstructed by clouds right now, but over the course of the live stream, there's a good chance that that clears up. We are keeping it up. Why am I winded? Is this? Are you? <laughs> that was like, that was like that slope was so weak, and I'm winded. I'm still worn out from that bungee jumping. I love this this tree. It's in the, like right in the middle of the tea fields, right? All oh, right, yeah. I love the fact that when they were like preparing these tea fields, they didn't cut that down, right? They left that as a they left that there. The whole of Shizuoka Prefecture is famous for its tea production, and tea fields are fairly common. But through the rise of modern technology, few fields are preserved in this traditional state without poles, cables, or wires. For those of you who can't get to Japan and join us, we are, we are bringing it to you. In a friendly way, not documentary style, but just as a couple of blokes 
Enjoy. Oh, Dean, this is your little platform thingy. Yeah, we could come here and bring some tea. Check this out. This is where this is where I'm doing the episode opening. I got to I got to stand on this deck or something. This is where you do the episode opening, right? Did right you do here. Yoga, John? Yoga? Yeah, can you do like a tree pose? What what are you doing? Keep planking. Teens planking. That's up. Oh my god. If That's you're really good at yoga. I think that would feel kind of spiritual bliss for me. It feels like I'm working out. Do it again. See, if I did it, I'd probably break wind or something live after eating that breakfast we had. There was something very special about this tree and its deck, surrounded by the tea fields. On our way back, we met a man selling bonsai trees to visitors. <laughs> That's our Obuchi Sasaba experience. That's pretty cool, right? We got a bonsai tree out of it. That kind of made my that made this trip, right? Yeah, let's just film this, and because uh, this is either really cool or really geeky, right? Yeah, <laughs> well, it's we're, it's we're, it's we're either geek. like it's the geek. coolest tech guys or the or the geekiest boys in town. So, I'm Dean, and I'm flying a Spark. This is John. I'm John, and I'm flying the DJI Mini 2. Mini 2? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm Yuya, and I'm flying the Mavic 2 Pro. Can you look a little bit more shaped? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big boy. Look at that. Beast. One moment, please. So, drones have progressed a long way. When you used to go drone flying, you used to carry this in the airport. And everybody would know, oh, that guy's got a drone, because he's got the giant suitcase. Oy, here we go. Should put some blades on it. And I'm also Dean, and this is a original Phantom. These Phantoms were the first drones that, like, you know, idiots like us could buy. And then the world changed. And this is the newest one, the Mini 2. And we had the idea that maybe we could take off from the top of this old drone, but unfortunately the blades make it impossible. I'll make, I'll make a little like rubber belt for this drone so that you can sit on top of that and then you'll be able to do the dual takeoff. Awesome. Dove, 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 dove. <laughs> totally unnecessary, but cool. So anyway, this guy's not going up anymore because he's more like an antique. So, who wants to fly? Uh, I think we can have the engines roaring. To keep it, let's keep it moving. By the way, we were not sponsored by DJI to make this video. Though we probably should have been.
That's how we got all of those beautiful drone shots. The cycling led us all the way up into a valley where a huge bridge crossed a river That's far like below. Fuji City suggested we jump off it. Dean, I can't do this, Dean! Let's go, calm down. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two. Of course, John took the plunge like a champ. That sucked! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the bungee is operated by Bungee Japan, who have eight locations around Japan. At 54 meters, this is an average height. They actually get much higher. This is my fifth time doing a bungee jump, and my second time in Japan. And yet it probably gets a little bit scarier every time. Oh, that is so insane. <sighs> it doesn't get any more normal throwing yourself off a huge bridge. Oh, but it's a rush. <sighs> oh. oh man, that was awesome. Spin forward, spin forward. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. Alright, you want to set up? Oh, thank you guys. You are right. Yeah, my eyes almost came out, I thought. Oh, yeah? Where's your eyes? They have one gun, right? And my eyes were still there. Woo! Once in your life. Maybe twice. After all the excitement, it was time to say goodbye to John at Shin Fuji Station. All right, mate. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We come to the end, now. Yeah. So I right. give you a hug, but uh, we can't do we it. Can't do I that. Don't know, maybe a little okay. bow. Bow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you later. Take care. Going home. Yeah. See you, mate. Rest. All right. Yeah. Don't work tonight. I'll be watching your social media to make sure. What a whirlwind trip, right? I, f I can't even begin to think what we've done in, uh, in this 24 hours, but um, a lot of fun, and I hope I'll be back with John doing more videos soon. Actually, I didn't go home right away. I felt something luring me back to the tea fields. At night, Obuchi Sasaba was eerie and enchanting. The city lights twinkled below on the coast, and the clouds had cleared from Mount Fuji, leaving a dark silhouette in the sky. One last drink of green tea in unforgettable surroundings. Cheers, John. It's time to break away. It's time to run.